What's up guys, my name is Westy, and today in this video we're going to be looking at all the Battlefield 4 teasers that have been released so far. So today is March the 25th, that's the day I've made this video, and tomorrow, March 26th and March 27th in other parts of the world, we're going to be seeing the reveal for Battlefield 4, so I thought it was relevant that I bring together all the teasers that we've seen so far into one video before the reveal. I will of course be doing a few videos on the reveal as well, so don't forget to subscribe and then you can stick around to watch those as well. So let's dig straight into it. Over a week ago now on the Battlefield official Facebook page they released a sort of amateur video that looked something like this. Now it didn't show off much, obviously the video is not extremely long, but it sort of gave us a hint into what Battlefield 4 was going to look like, the colour scheme and all that kind of the art direction and everything. And uh, it's very similar to Battlefield 3 but when it first came out people went nuts over it. What came next was the release of some Battlefield 4 artwork. Now, obviously everybody's seen this Battlefield artwork by now with the soldier in the middle, much similar to Battlefield 3. But there was also a second version with these orange boxes over it, and people could discern what was in those boxes, but I'll get to those in a minute. And then after that came the release of the Battlefield 4 section on the official Battlefield website. And if you went over there, well even now you can still go over there, sign in with your Origin account, PSN account or Xbox Live Gamertag account, you can um, get a free set of dog tags that said I was there. And that's relevant to the reveal, so it's sort of like I was there at the reveal, you get this dog tag, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we start getting into the main sort of stuff. DICE started releasing these series of 20 second trailers, each showing off land, sea and air. Now these videos are just going to roll in the background while I have a little chat about what's in them. So the first one we saw was land and it's only 20 seconds long like the rest, but it did just show off the tyre tracks for a tank and it showed off just the quality and graphics that are going to be in these sort of games. And perhaps it's not going to be quite that good, but still it's going to be an improvement over Battlefield 3 and it was just simply stating that land sort of orientated combat is going to be in Battlefield 4. Next we came along to naval combat. Now this is one that we haven't seen in Battlefield for a while unless you count naval warfare in Battlefield 3 which was a rib boat but that doesn't really count. So in this one it was quite exciting because we got to see the propeller from an underwater ship. We weren't really sure what it was either a submarine or sort of like a warship or maybe a smaller sort of vessel. Um, we're still not really sure now what it is but lots of people have been saying that it's maybe towards like a vessel side of things rather than a submarine but I'd really like to think it is submarines and something I'm just going to tack on I found this earlier on reddit and it's just like a tweet that was went out and like some guy said oh my god like a turbine from a submarine and the official battlefield sort of twitter page actually replied to him saying oh submarines funny you should mention that so perhaps it is that we are actually going to be seeing submarines in battlefield 4 and finally we come along to the air trailer. Now this is where it starts to get interesting because people were looking into this one a hell of a lot more than the other ones because you can see a little bit more in this trailer. And uh, what people seem to think, this is a Chinese attack helicopter. Specifically we could be looking at the WZ-10, the Chinese attack helicopter. And um, this looks pretty cool, And uh, but we don't actually get to see much more than what was in the video and people sort of compared this to that because of the rotors and the way it all looks so we don't actually know much more but uh, the pictures that I'm about to talk about next may give us some more information okay so the pictures were released on the official Battlefield 4 section on the Battlefield website and the first one that was released was an aircraft carrier that appears to have been hit by some sort of like torpedo or I don't know a missile or something like that but this was released around the same time as the naval warfare trailer teaser trailer trailer thing that was uh, released on the official battlefield youtube channel so it tied in together now it's still not giving us a huge amount of detail but it is reinforcing the naval aspect of battlefield 4. The next picture to be released was a sort of cityscape of Shanghai. Now people had already figured this out before it was actually released. They sort of detailed the picture and made it better resolution and sort of filtered all the stuff out so they could actually see the skyline. But this made it official. It was Shanghai so it's even pointing more towards the Chinese aspect of Battlefield 4 and how that faction could actually be included. And around the same time as the picture of Shanghai was released, Battlefield started tweeting in Chinese, which points even more towards China being included in this uh, sort of episode of the Battlefield series. And personally, I'm really looking forward to it because I'm getting bored of Russian versus US, so it's bringing in something different, something new, just to keep things fresh. The next thing that sort of came along was a tweet from Crash7800, the Battlefield 3 community manager, and he spoke about how he was excited about the Battlefield 4 beta to be coming out in the fall of 2013, and everything beyond that. So this has pretty much confirmed that we're going to see a beta in the fall period of 2013. 
we come to something a little bit more strange for the Battlefield sort of series now. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a picture of a female sort of concept art that was released on the Battlefield f uh, official website as well. But what's interesting is it's actually a female, and this was something that was rumoured a long time back about what was going to be included in Battlefield 4. And uh, it sort of brought the rumours back round again that there may be female soldiers in this game. We're not exactly sure what it's going to be based on. This could just be part of the campaign version of Battlefield 4 as opposed to the multiplayer. So this could be just a character from the campaign, but we're not going to find out until tomorrow. And at the same time as that was released a picture of the US sort of uh, assault soldier. And uh, he looks very similar to the one in Battlefield 3. You can see he's got a dark, dark skin tone and all that kind of stuff going on. But what he's actually holding is an LMG, not an assault rifle. And this started rumours again that Battlefield Bad Company 2 classes could be making it back into Battlefield 4. Now for those of you that haven't played Bad Company 2, uh, if you're an assault player in Bad Company 2, you give out ammo. And if you're a support, you give out health which is what I would think a support person would actually do. And when they introduced Battlefield 3 classes, people thought, well, this isn't right, they've changed it, and it made the, the sort of classes imbalanced, and that's something that I thought in Battlefield 3 has always been wrong. And now, perhaps in Battlefield 4, they're going to bring back the older classes that people were more familiar with, people liked, and that were better balanced. And finally, we come to All Out War. Now, this is a kind of sort of normal for Battlefield. We've got some air and some land going on there. But what's really interesting is the tank, again, it looks like a Chinese variant. It's more rounded than what the Americans and the Russians look like. And again, just reinforcing that China is going to play a big part in Battlefield 4. Now, I'm not sure if when this video actually gets released, they're going to release another sort of teaser coming up to the reveal of the teaser reveal thing that's coming tomorrow. But um, just this sort of video, just I just wanted to round everything up for my subscribers and uh, just to keep everybody updated on what's going on. And of course, I will be releasing videos of the reveal and sort of information on it and what I think it's going to be like and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that will be going up on my channel in the next few days as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments below about everything that you think is going on about Battlefield 4 at the moment, what you think about these leaks and whatever. Don't forget to give this video a like so other people can see all the information they need to know about Battlefield 4 before the reveal tomorrow. I've been Westy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.